Hi, if Carrick's PC doesn't work with your controller, there are three ways to fix it. First is for Windows controllers, just literally any Chinese controllers. Second one is for PlayStation kind of controllers. And third one for all controllers but requires Steam. So to get started, let's start with the first one. Firstly, we're going to connect to our controller. After connecting your controller, you're going to open up X360 and it will automatically detect what kind of controller you have and it will map up your controller. But if you don't like this mapping, you can always change them. After that, open up Carex and remap your controls. Maybe you don't have to, but if you want to, you can do it and you're good to go. Now let's try to connect our PlayStation controller. For that, you're gonna have to open up this software called DS4 Windows. You're gonna wait a while and it will automatically open up and detect your controller. Once it does that, it will show how much of battery you got and you can also change the uh, lighting or the color of your light easily. After that, you're gonna open up the game and it will work. If you need to, just change the controller settings from the settings menu. Let's start with the third method. For the third one, you're going to have to open up Steam. Now, a lot of you probably don't have this game on Steam and that's totally fine because you can use Steam to play non-Steam games using the controller fix. For that, you're going to have to click on here, add game, add a non-Steam game, and then you're going to have to with a browse or wait for the game to show up. For me, it's not showing up, so I'm just gonna browse. I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go to games, game, Carex, and we're gonna select Carex.exe. And once it shows up, you're gonna check it at and then you're gonna find Carex. Right click. Now first you're gonna click on Steam, go to settings, go to controllers, and you'll find your controller automatically detected. No matter what kind of controller you have, it'll all be detected because Steam is really good at it. Press on begin test and you'll see that it's working properly. Close it. Close it. Right click, properties, and you're gonna go to controller. And here you're gonna enable use Steam input. Now your game is gonna run with any controller you like. If you like it, subscribe.